Hey everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to make a, a pretty quick video this time, but it's something about uh, a utility that I think I didn't know anything about. I think a lot of people don't know anything about. And I recently discovered and is remarkably useful. It's just a, just a super, super, super cool little utility. It's a tiny little thing, but it's, it's really rad. And uh, I think you guys are gonna like it. It's called Aria 2. And uh, Aria 2 is basically just um, wget or, or curl, uh, on steroids, right? <laughs> but like lots of steroids, like super anabolic steroids. Um, so the idea is that Aria 2, um, can, can do a whole bunch of stuff. So it does all the kind of URL kind of pulling that, that wget or curl would normally do on the command line. So pulls HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, general kind of URL stuff, right? But what it also does is give you the ability to go pull URLs concurrently. So it breaks it up into multiple threads, multiple sessions, and it's pulling down uh, simultaneously in multiple threads. That way you can go maximize bandwidth because, well, there's a whole bunch of different things. But um, like if you're using uh, LECP interfaces or, or things like that, you know, having multiple sessions doing transfer is incredibly useful. Uh, but also just the ability to go ahead and have multiple CPU cores handling multiple threads and really try to go max those out. Now that we're in a world where, you know, multiple cores kind of rule the day, that's huge. But that's not even the bit that I care about. The piece that I care about is it has something that I've wanted for a really long time and I've thought about writing wrappers for uh, and stuff. And I just, I just love that this already exists, which is a really easy Unix style, as in does one thing, does it well, BitTorrent client. And that's huge. <laughs> Because if you ever want to go automate pulling something down via BitTorrent from like a script, um, and this is something that we looked at doing uh, years ago. I actually got kind of laughed at for this uh, back in the day. We had, you know, this, these sort of massive data centers with thousands of servers. And um, we wanted to be able to, to go ahead and distribute uh, databases and things, uh, you know, to all the hosts. I suggested BitTorrent and I got kind of laughed out of the room. And one of the, the one of the really valid criticisms that I thought was kind of uh, a doable workaround at the time, and I, I love that this just sort of shows that that's absolutely the case, is to, to it wasn't sort of very scriptable uh, at the time because you had to go use these you know kind of bigger uh, BitTorrent clients. Uh, but with this, you can give Aria two and give it a torrent uh, or a magnet URL, boom, pulls it down. Like it's super 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 slick. Um, so I'm going to go share out my my main display, and we can go take a look at this. So this is the the Aria 2 uh, website. So it's just a, a download utility. It's super lightweight, super straightforward, uh, works really, really well. BitTorrent client uses Metalinks, as we talked about. Um, yeah, it's got an RPC interface, so you can I guess you can control this with other applications. I haven't played around with that at all. I don't really care all that much about it. Uh, but... Just the fact that we can go use a very, very simple, very straightforward command line download utility. Oh man, this is this is really cool. So yeah, um, the syntax is incredibly simple, aria2c, and then the URL that you want to go pull something from, right? And that doesn't matter if it's, you know, a um, you know, single URL, you can just give it two URLs. Like this, I love this idea. One is an HTTP site, one is an FTP site. So it's pulling from both of those simultaneously, grabbing the same file, uh, and, you know, reassembling them, uh, which is cool. Uh, using two connections per host, Aria X2. So it's going to go ahead and have, you know, multiple sessions per host. And then the one that I really care about, which is, uh, you know, being able to, to direct it to a torrent and go pull that down. And this works with either a local file of a torrent or a URL to a torrent or a magnet link. Right, all these, these work perfectly. So it's a really, really cool idea. And uh, on top of that, uh, they've they've gone further with this, uh, which is uh, they've built this into a whole bunch of other technologies. So there's a, there's an apt backend. So if you're on like a Debian based distribution like Ubuntu or Mint or, or any one of those, um, you can actually go install this. And there's also uh, an apt Metalink package. You go update <laughs> your apt configs, uh, and then you go ahead and uh, have it be able to go use Metalinks, which is really cool. Now, what I would love to see. Uh, and I think would be a, a really, really neat idea um, is to to use something like this, but use it in the BitTorrent mode. Uh, because that way when, you know, new updates come out, when there's security updates and patches and things like that, and then normally the, you know, the Debian or the Ubuntu servers would be, you know, getting hammered, 
Um, everybody starts pulling from each other. That's rad. I mean, that's the whole point of BitTorrent. Everybody looks at it and they associate BitTorrent with piracy, but it's just a really cool, you know, distributed file sharing protocol that works insanely well. Um, this is also available for Pac-Man. They've got a Python, you know, wrapper class for this that you can go ahead and use. Um, Node.js kind of implementation. It's built into to UGET, which is a, a Linux download manager. So there's, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff here. So you can go to the, the you know, the GitHub, you know, for all these kind of different things. And, and, and setting this up, you know, the app metal link thing is really, really easy. You install it, <laughs> you install the Python apps package, uh, and then you go change the sources list um, so that you have multiple, you know, mirrors uh, to the same thing. And then boom, it just looks like it, like it works. I haven't actually done this myself yet, but it's, it's sort of on my, on my list of things to check out. Uh, also, looks like it's available from FreeBSD, so you can go. You can get this if you're on, uh, you know, BSD or, or TrueOS or you know one of the uh, the FreeBSD variants. I assume that if it's you know available for FreeBSD, it's probably available for OpenNet BSD as well. So that's super cool. So um, I am uh, I'm, I'm I'm doing a backup at the, <laughs> the time this is is running, so I'm backing up some stuff. Um, so I thought what I would do is uh, connect to. Uh, one of the machines that I use for my, my cloud lab environment for some of my Linux classes that I, I teach. Um, so uh, I've got a, um, you know, an Ubuntu system over here. Um, this is just, a, it doesn't really matter what version of Linux that it is. Uh, and I've got the command aria2c uh, dash dash seed time seed dash time equals zero. So the idea is that this is going to run for the download and then quit immediately after. It's not going to hang around seeding stuff to, to other clients because, you know, in a script or something like that, you wouldn't want this to just kind of, be hanging there, or if it's just on a server somewhere, you probably wouldn't want to do it. Uh, and then I have a torrent uh, that I've, you know, have already downloaded. I could have given it the URL, but I already happen to have this because I, I downloaded this stuff previously. So uh, I'm going to go to the beginning of the line uh, and go ahead and put uh, a time there. And some of the typing, the input might be a little bit slow just because, again, I get a, you know, download going here, which is part of the reason why I'm not doing this on local machines. So I'm just going to go run the time command, uh, and then I'm just going to go kick this off. So we'll go ahead and see how long this goes and takes to download. I think it's like a 3.6 uh, gig file. So it's already downloading up to, you know, 50 megs per second, uh, 70 megs per second. It's up to, you know, 80. Um, and basically we're done downloading a, an entire ISO in four, three, two, one, done. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, granted, this is an instance in the cloud. Um, you know, I'm, I'm running this on, on DigitalOcean, which is uh, a great sort of provider, uh, Amazon alternative. And, uh, you know, downloaded this entire URL in 27 seconds, right? And that's the reason why I found this out is that um, the way that I have this lab environment and set up is that um, it, it automatically provisions these systems with cloud in it. Um, so it goes through this whole bootstrapping process and um, in the Linux classes that, that we're going to offer through here, um, one of the things that we want to do is we want to have VirtualBox installed. So uh, if you've never played around with doing an install in Linux or something like that, you have um, you know some VMs that you can go use. So you have this VM that you're connected to, that's your main machine, and then we're going to have VirtualBox installed. But I don't want my students to have to go like wait 20 minutes to download an ISO in, in class, so we're going to go pre-download those for, uh, for them. So anyway, so this is really cool. Um, if I go ahead and do a uh, edit uh, paste, and I think I've got the, the just the direct URL, uh, yeah. So this is just the this is standard HTTP URL from the uh, releases.ubuntu.com 1804, um, you know, kind of a kind of desktop uh, image. And actually, let me go ahead and, and Control C. I'll just do an LS uh, and. Well, ba -ba -ba. where is my Ubuntu? All right, so we'll move Ubuntu uh, 18.04, one dash desktop. I can't type today. Just do star dot ISO uh, desktop. All right, so I'm just going to move that on the desktop for now. Oh, yeah, so it's possible I should have waited. 
to do this when I wasn't using so much bandwidth up on my side. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and download that or move that to the desktop. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a time wget. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just paste this to the window. And, you know, just for the purposes of comparison, you know, that took 27 seconds uh, for us to go ahead and download the, um, you yeah, know, the, 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 the ISO via a, a torrent. Um, so this is running, it's, it's going at a pretty reasonable clip. This is downloading at, you know, uh, almost 20 megs per second. But I mean, that's, you know, like a fourth of the, uh, the speed that we were going at before. Um, so ETA right now is, is, you know, we are looking at another, you know, 75, 80 seconds. Um, so, you know, this, the, this can add up. This is, this is something that can be you know, kind of funky. Um, so I'm going to go cancel that cause this is obviously already taking, uh, longer than, than one would, uh, want to go ahead and do. So we're already at 43 seconds. So, you know, it's just to kind of show that this is significantly, uh, slower, uh, but we can also go ahead and do ARIA too. Um, and then I can go ahead and do dash X2, I think it was. And paste the URL. Right. And go back over here. Time. And we'll go run this. So we'll run, we'll run this with ARIA too. Uh, and we can go ahead and see how long it's going to go ahead and take to, to download. Um, so it's already, you know, significantly faster than the previous one. We're up to, you know, 35, 36, uh, 39, you know, 40 megs per second. Um, so that's, that's already significantly better. Not quite as fast as the, uh, the previous kind of, uh, kind of option. I mean, that was, it was a lot faster before with the, with the BitTorrent, but still really, really cool. Um, so the other thing that's really neat is you can actually go ahead and give it a file that has some URLs in it. So if I just do a cat URLs dot TXT, I believe I called it. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a download of an open uh, open uh, and a Fedora ISO. I figured like, let's not just pick on the Ubuntu uh, download servers cause they could, they have to pay for bandwidth too. Um, so we can go ahead and do ARIA too. Wait time. To, and I can give it URLs dot txt, and the idea is that this can now go ahead and pull in. Um, oh, forgot to put the C on there. All right, let's try that now. That's interesting. Let me go double check the uh, the syntax for that guy. Now ah, we need a dash I flag. So up arrow. One more. Dash I. So I guess I for input, I would imagine. Uh, so now it's just pulling these down, right? That's That's really, really cool. Uh, so it looks like the first one may have been a, um, uh, you know, a, a web redirect to like an HTML page, which, you know, probably kicked off to a mirror. So the, the Fedora one, it just kind of blew through. It looks like, but it's downloading the ISO, uh, for, uh, for leap right now. And it's, uh, you know, cranking right along. So, uh, very, very, very cool. Um, neat little utility, uh, Aria two. I'm just going to go cancel this out. Yeah. Check that out. Add that to your, your arsenal of, of neat little tools. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this has been around for a long time, but if, if it is, uh, I wish I found out about it sooner because man, what a, what a great little utility. Um, let's see. Well, I was going to try to go look up how long it, how long it's been around, uh, but I'm not going to go worry about it. Um, so, uh, it looks like it was written by Tatsuhiro, uh, Tujikawa. Um, good freaking job. So congratulations on that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys find that that's useful for you. Um, I know that this is sort of like a, a random little mini video, but, 
Um, I think that's pretty neat. I'm going to try to go ahead and have, you know, more cool technologies and, 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 you know, uh, tech tips and, and kind of programs and things like that, that I, I find interesting. So if you want to, uh, get more of that stuff, uh, click down below, subscribe and, uh, you know, check out more videos in the future. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next one.